Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. And, uh, well, I listed this hat last night. <laughs> but what I did not do that I said I was going to do was actually get these cars listed. I did just go ahead and shoot a video uh, of this car. And then I'm going to splice in, like I said, some footage of it running. And then I'll upload that. And then I'll probably, I think I'm just going to put these cars at auction. I think that's going to be the best way to go. Um, auctions have been working out pretty well for me. So I'm going to try that out. Um, oh, update on yesterday's topic of discussion, which was the disputed charges. So I messaged the buyer and turns out the buyer saw um, four charges that they didn't recognize on their, their credit card for from San Jose and they hadn't bought anything from San Jose. So the managed payments is billing from San Jose. They made a mistake and they disputed the charges, not recognizing them. Well, it turned out it was my charges. <laughs> so after I messaged them, uh, they were very nice about it. And they, um, they contacted their credit card company today to reverse the dispute or to cancel the dispute or whatever it is I got to do. So they're working with me. Everything's cool. It was just a misunderstanding, uh, which I can understand how that could happen. So everything's good on that front. Uh, I'll just, just wait for it to play out. I guess I could, I guess eBay could still, um, eBay could still just take the funds or something, I guess, maybe, but I think it'll turn out okay. I'm not worried about it this, at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and get these videos and these cars listed, uh, auctions scheduled for tonight, and then we'll pull a few orders. I'm not going to the post office today, which is kind of nice, um, but I will go ahead and pull a few orders, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some of this stuff listed too, and... Yeah, just have a nice day. Uh, my daughter is home for Thanksgiving holidays, which is nice. She just got here, so uh, might be taking a little time off to hang out with her, too. So, yeah, let me get these cars listed, though. Okay, and I'm in iMovie now, and I just took a few clips from yesterday. Not from yesterday, day before yesterday, whenever I was filming the demo vid at the park. I took a few of those clips. I even show where I put the GoPro on. I'm going to have to make sure that I say GoPro not included. <laughs> um, and I showed some of that footage. And then I showed me actually talking about the car real quick. And what's good, what's bad. And then showing the servos and the motors working and stuff. Funny, I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I sprayed a little of that contact cleaner up in the motor cavity and stuff like that and that reverse problem kind of went away so the car probably just needs some general cleaning and lubrication and whatnot so anyways i'm uh now i'm uploading this video over to uh ebay what is the name of that channel oh ebay demo videos is the name of that channel so then i can uh go ahead and list it Okay, I think I've got my uh, listing all set to go. Got all the photos up. I embedded a video right here. I have it set up as an auction. I paid the 10 cents to schedule it for seven o'clock tonight, so I don't have to worry with it. Uh, maybe I'll make that six, because that is Pacific time. So that'll be eight o'clock local, nine o'clock on East Coast. That's probably good. And, uh, yeah, I have the shipping set up for UPS Ground 17, ooh, wait, typo, 17, 16, 7, 6 to 7 pounds. Okay, perfect. That first one is up. Now I just got to do the same thing with the second one. All right, I've got my, both of my listings ready. See video. <laughs> I even put on the second video... I haven't put the little burn out at the beginning. And then later on in that video, I'm showing showing the car and stuff on There's the bench. There's not really any. So, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, I'm scrolling through the, uh, the comments for the last video. And I haven't been doing a whole lot of 
question answering on videos, but I did see uh, Big Jim says, Lonnie, will you please tell us about the two inch tape dispenser that is on your shipping table? Likes and dislikes. Okay, he's talking about this right here. I do like this a lot. I use it a good bit. Um, my likes is one handed operation. And really at this point now, I've gotten used to it. It took me some time and I don't even use the handheld dispensers anymore. Um, I just tear off sheets of this and it's, I like it. Um, dislikes, the edge on this cutting thing is extremely sharp, which you know it's going to be. Uh, I've managed to mash my thumb on that probably about three times now <laughs> and cut my thumb up. Uh, but I think I'm starting to develop some calluses and maybe it, it'll get tough enough to where it won't even happen anymore. I like this. I wish it was a little... I could probably do something about that. Um, I wish it was a little heavier because it does move. Like whenever I... Eh, it didn't move that time. So that's a poor demonstration. But I do like it. And I have... Um, one thing I noticed is I had this scotch shipping packaging tape sure start and i don't usually use that i just had like a four pack sitting around here i've noticed check out how quiet this tape is extremely quiet right <laughs> oh another question i had was from diane Miller, I've been considering trying Pirate Ship. Do you find it easier or cheaper than USPS? Why do you choose to use them? Uh, when you ship Pirate Ship, you're actually printing USPS postage. So it's not it's not different from USPS. It's just you're buying your postage from a different place. The only time I choose to use them is when I'm doing simple export rate for international shipments. Um, or when I want to do cubic rate shipping via pirate ship for like an eBay package. But typically with eBay, if I'm shipping USPS, except for those few circumstances, I'm just gonna buy my label through eBay. Uh, a lot of times the postage is actually cheaper to buy it through eBay, except for those specific instances. The other time I use pirate ship is when I'm shipping my box resizers. Um, I can't use eBay shipping for that because I didn't sell them on eBay. I sold them on my big cartel site, um, which I have attached to uh, pirate ship. I just pull in those orders through pirate ship and then um, I just bulk buy all the labels and then print them all out. So I use it for that as well. For anything that I, anytime I sell anything uh, that I did not sell on eBay, I use Pirate Ship for that too. But it is USPS postage. Okay, moving on. And I'm looking at this Sony now, this handy cam, and you might be able to tell from the tone of my voice, it doesn't work. <laughs> the uh, I can't get it to play a tape. And whenever I go to video mode, this is what I see. There's no picture. So, yeah, this thing does not work, unfortunately. So, I'll sell that as, I'll sell this unit as parts if I can, if I can even get anything for it. I'll look up this remote, remote 502. It might be worth a little bit, unless it's... It's got some corrosion in there. Might just toss it. These remotes usually aren't worth a ton of money anyway. Let me see what that's worth. If it's not worth much, I'm going to toss it. Remote 502. Sony. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people are selling that thing for like five bucks. So that's getting tossed. And... The only thing that might have a little bit of value, this AC-V60, this charger is pretty, this charger is pretty complex looking. It's even got video out on it and stuff. Uh, so I might be able to sell that. And it does work because it is powering the camera. So let me see, Sony AC-V60. If I can salvage any value out of this. 
Uh, yeah, actually this, look, somebody sold one on the 18th for 30 bucks plus shipping. So, I see other, some people sold it cheaper, but here it sold again for 30 bucks plus shipping. So, I'll go ahead and list that. Then I'll list the camera as parts only. It might be 15 bucks or 20 bucks or something tops um, and as is condition. And I'll still still make a little bit of money on it. Okay, going to be a short one today. Um, I'm not going to pull orders on this video. I think I'm going to do that on the next video. That's going to be nothing but pulling orders probably. So I want to do a non-order pulling video today. Thanks to all of y'all that... Um, decided to come play me on chess.com <laughs> i've got like i think 20 new friends now and i'm even it's fun because i'm even playing a game one of the viewers is actually a freaking chess master which i was i shouldn't have been surprised out of that many people there probably was supposed to be a chess master in there somewhere but uh yeah i got some good games going so that's fun my name on there is um garage flips all one word so if anybody else wants to play, maybe we can even make a, uh, make a garage flips tournament or something we can all play in. Who knows? Huh? <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all again soon. Take care guys. Bye-bye.